Do you want to be in my video today? Uh, Valentine's Day uh, glam. Uh, hey you guys, so I already did my eyebrows off camera. Um, just because today I want to focus mainly on the eyes and the lips, we are going for a brown, smoky, red lip. So, let's get started. So, I already primed my eyes with, um, just, a com just some concealer and just put some Carmex on my lips, um, because they're really dry. So, we are first going in with... So for the crease color, we are using Culture. It's this pretty soft orange color. And we're just gonna be applying that all through the crease. It's very pigmented, so grab a little and work your way up. So like I said, we're just gonna be going all through the crease with this color, but mainly focusing on the outer um, V. Of the eye. I like to bring my eyeshadow a little bit outwards, like right, right below the edge of my um, like brow bone. Just so it has more of that like cat eye effect. Hope you can see that color. Using the same color on this crease. So I actually had filmed this for you guys last week, but the boys were not having it at all. Like they would not let me film. <laughs> I, I usually try and film during their nap times, but they were just having a bad day and it just did not work out. And then I tried to film when me and my husband went out for our dinner on Saturday, but right when I brought my equipment out to film, the kids were just getting loud and my husband was in and out of the room. So it just didn't happen. So here we are Monday night filming this. <laughs> so I really liked how this came out for our date night. Like I said in a previous video, I think that I do not wear red lipstick at all. But I'm becoming more comfortable with it, finding the right shade, and I really liked how it turned out. So that's what we're doing today. A bold red lip. I actually did a poll on my Instagram if you guys liked more of a red lip or a pink eye, and red lip definitely won. So that's what we're doing today. Just making sure this is all blended out. All right, so going in with a smaller blending brush. Okay, so going in with a smaller blending brush, it's a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. Um, we're gonna be taking the color Fudge. It's an Anastasia Single Shadow and Fudge. It's like a really pretty brown. So we're gonna be taking this in our crease, focusing like on our crease, but lower V area so we're gonna we're gonna be using this to kind of smoke it out and make it look like a cat eye effect so hope i'm like explaining that right but you'll see what i mean so 
So I'm not taking this as high as that crease as that first color. So we're just going to be focusing it. I kind of like squinch my eye. And then just making a little V. I always kind of like place the color where I want and then just start blending it out. So with this color, we are only, we're not going all the way through the crease. We're stopping a little past halfway. So grabbing that um, previous blending brush, I'm just smoothing out the edges. So always start off with a little bit and then you can always build it up. Whoops. Ah. No worries. We will get a makeup wipe. So we're going to spray some Fix Plus. And just put that all over, not all over the lid, I'm sorry. This corner of the lid and bring it in halfway. Just like that. All right, so I'm taking a chocolate break. Because it's Valentine's week, we are eating kisses. Almond kisses. Those are my favorite. I'm actually just going to take some on my hand and go in with it. On my finger, I'm sorry. I feel like more product just gets on the eye that way. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that same brown color. And just, um, I'm just going to go in with that same blending brush and make this brown color a little bit more darker. Okay, so we're going to be taking this kind of flat brush and dipping, dipping it into some black shadow and just kind of smoking the lash line, just the outer V, the whole lash line, I'm sorry. Whoops, we haven't even done that eye, what am I doing? Okay, so like I said, for lashes, we're going to be using the Fair number 12s. I recently picked these up, and they're very pretty. We're going to let that dry for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to apply these really quick. See how much lashes make a difference. Like these are so pretty. All 
right, so I just put my lashes on while they dry. We're gonna move on to face. I wanna speed through this process because like I said, I just wanna focus on the eyes and lips today. So what do you guys like getting for Valentine's? I am not a teddy bear kind of girl. Don't give me a teddy bear. I want chocolate and not just any chocolate. Like I want turtles or strawberry um, dipped with chocolate. That's it. And roses. I'm not a jewelry kind of girl. Don't get me jewelry. Yeah, I'm not jewel. I'm not a jewelry kind of girl. I love, love, love roses. Like if you just got me roses, I'd be okay with that. But for some reason, my husband only. I mean, I don't think he's figured that out yet. So he's only got me roses like one year. And the other year, one other year, he got me flowers, which I really don't care for, like, flower flowers. I don't know. I just love roses. He does give me chocolate. Um, oh, and he has to give, I don't even care if he doesn't give me anything. He, but he has to give me a Valentine's Day card. Like, I'm a card freak, whether it's for birthdays. Like whatever occasion, I love getting cards. Like I save all of my cards. So if you've ever given me a card, I probably still have it. I have like two boxes full of old cards when we were younger. Speeding through this foundation probably looks like I'm beating the crap out of my face. But yeah, so I don't even know like if anyone really does Valentine's Day big anymore. You guys just do dinner? Do y'all do gifts? Give me the scoop because I don't know. I don't know what people do anymore. And it's on a Thursday, so like... What can you really do besides like going to eat, you know what I mean? I like to celebrate because that's an excuse to get glammed up. That looks, okay, that's eyeshadow, but that is not a hickey. I promise you that. Look like one though. Okay, set the face. Can't forget the blush. I love, love this blush. I feel like it goes with everything. Probably the only face product I'm gonna mention. This is Warm Soul um, by MAC. And some shimmer because it's not a glam if you don't add shimmer. These lashes are so dramatic, <laughs> but pretty. All right, so now we're gonna smoke out the bottom lash line using the same exact colors we used on the lid. All right, so going in with culture and then going in with fudge. Then we're going to get this same black um, pencil that we smudged the top lash line out and um, we're going to pretend it's like an eyeliner down here. All 
All right, so now we are moving on to mascara. I usually stay away from browns, but I really liked how this came out, so. I'm forcing myself recently to play with more colors out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Alright. Then for the inner corner highlight, we are going to use the same color that we um, used to highlight our cheekbones. Alright, so for lips, I cannot find my red lip liner for the life of me. So we're going to use Strip Down from MAC. Okay, and then we're going to use this color lipstick um, from Morphe. And the name is Morphe. So... Morphe by Morphe. All right, you guys, I think this is the final look. Let me put some finishing spray on and I think we are done. So this is the final Valentine's Day glam. I hope you guys love this look just as much as I did. And yeah, so you can wear this out with the girls. If you are single, you can wear this out with your husband, your boyfriend, whatever he is, friends with benefits. But yeah, I loved it. So I hope you guys try and recreate this look. Please tag me if you do. And I will see you in my next video.